Hi everyone, today we're gonna have a really quick video. It's just a little um, help on how to install the mods because after my mods video, lots of people have been sending me messages asking how to install them and especially now that we have the new update 1.5 so many mods are not updated yet which can cause some compatibility issues. I'm gonna just make this little quick video showing how I personally install my mods and how I ensure that they don't get messed up with each update. It's really really simple, um, just uh, as a recap, just like the basics. So when you say mods, it's just, it's just files that make some slight modifications to your Stardew Valley game or to any game really. And they can add different things like different art styles, character portraits, sprites. The vanilla files, when we say vanilla, is your standard Stardew Valley files that is already installed in your computer. It's the, the original files um, that haven't been modified in any way. One thing that we need to talk about is the different types of mods. Basically, we have two types of mods. We have mods that replace your Stardew Valley vanilla files and we have mods that are used with the content patcher which ensures that the mods are in a separate folder and do not mess up with your vanilla files. So I really recommend you use the content patcher just to keep your vanilla files intact and this way you can avoid lots of compatibility issues, lots of um, you know broken not updated mods ringing your, your game, sometimes you can't open. So to avoid any little issues like that um, and avoiding essentially needing to reinstall your game, I really recommend you use the content patcher instead of using those mods that ask you to replace a file. If you do opt to use a mod that replaces a file, it's really simple. For example, if I download a mod that replaces my blue chickens, I can just get this file, go to my Stardew Valley folder and replace that file in the Stardew Valley folder. As you see, you're replacing your vanilla file, so I don't recommend you use that because you will be losing your original file. So at least make a backup um, and copy the whole Stardew Valley folder in another place, just in case, um, trust me. But um, yeah, just so in case you don't know, your Stardew Valley folder will be inside your Steam folder. So it, it's usually on the program files, Steam, then Steam apps, common, and then Stardew Valley. That's where you will have all your vanilla files. They will be located on the content folder. And here you can see all the art files for everything. So animals, buildings, characters, and so on. So this is your vanilla um, files folder. What we're gonna do today is, and what I'm gonna show you is how to use the content patcher to avoid replacing your files. So that's really, really simple. So where to find the mods? I really recommend you use the Nexus Mods website. Of course, you can find really good mods outside of Nexus Mod, just like, for example, Diverse Study Valley, which has really cool um, portraits with awesome art style that really adds a new layer of diversity to the Stardew Valley characters. But in case you want to find lots of mods in a single place, Nexus Mods, I think, is the main website that everybody uses. Um, you have mods for different games as well, so not just Stardew Valley, but also, you know, Skyrim and Fallout and The Witcher. Um, so, yeah, I've been using Nexus Mods since I played Skyrim like 10 years ago, so I use only Nexus Mods all the time. But um, to use it, you need to register an account but it's free, so don't worry. Um, of course, they offer like premium accounts for you, but you don't need to choose them. You can just keep with a free account and you will be able to download all mods anyways. Um, so yeah, just create an account. It's really easy to register. You just need to put your email and password, keep up with the free account, and then inside the Studio Valley page, you can find a enormous amounts of mods like it's just so many you're gonna spend a lot of time searching for mods so um i have another video where i talk about mods so in case you didn't watch that uh, i tell you my favorite mods in case you want to see them i linked them up um on the description so yeah go check it if you want but um so to use the content patcher the first step you need to do is installing is mappy so is mappy is a modding api this basically ensures that all the mods are running, you know, 
um, it really ensures you don't replace any of the vanilla files which is good because you're gonna keep your files intact that's what we want so to download this mappy is really easy of course I'll be linking everything down in the description below but you can of course read the description where it explains all the requirements and permissions of the mods but to download you just need to go to the files tab and you go to manual download I don't recommend installing the Nexus mod manager it's just an extra layer of complication there you can just click a manual download. Um, of course you have optional files and old files, but you can kind of like ignore them. They are just like older updates that you don't need now. You just need the main file, which is the most updated thing that you need to install right now. So you download it on manual downloads and you click on slow downloads because you're free. Um, you're on a free account. It's not really slow. It just takes five seconds. Um, it's gonna download it on your folder. If you have any notification for, from like a vast guard, you can just keep the file, it is fine. I already used Kaspersky on it, it doesn't have any um, disruptive or virus or anything like that, so don't worry. You can then open your Smappy. You just need to extract the files on your Windows folder and here on Smap Installer, you are gonna click on the installer file for your operational system. It's really really easy, you just need to double click and here it's going to ask you if you want to install or uninstall a Smappy. So installing or uninstalling Smappy, it literally just creates a folder on your Stadio Valley, um, you know, program files folder. It will just create this little Smappy folder there, it's fine. If you want to keep this to uninstall in the future, you just need to, you know, press 2 and enter and it's gonna uninstall Smappy for you but today what we want is to install so we're gonna press 1 and then enter and that's it it's gonna be installed it's really quick and really easy it just creates that folder there for you so I'm gonna show you um, it's gonna create this Smappy fo internal folder in your Studio Valley that's all the only thing you need is to set your launch options in case you use Steam so if you bought Studio Valley through Steam you need to set your launch options to open Stardew Valley through Smappy. That's just so Smappy can be able to manage the mods. And it's really easy to do. You just need to copy this address here, which is basically telling you where Smappy is. You're gonna Ctrl C that. And on Steam, you can just go to the Stardew Valley properties and set the launch options. So I already have here, of course, but you just need to paste this address here. And basically what you're telling Steam is, please open Stardew Valley with his mappy. That's all. Um, this is just to manage the mods, really. It's fine. So after you installed his mappy and already set the launch options, you're ready to download as many mods as you want. So the first thing you have to do is download the content patcher, which is that um, one that I mentioned in the start of the video that would just add a mods folder to your file. So you click here on manual downloads, it will tell you that you need this mappy, but we already installed that, so that's fine. And now to every mod that you will install, it's going to be very simple. You can just move this folder to your Stadio Valley mods folder. So now you have a, this mods folder here. That's where you're going to paste all your mods. So you just come in here and paste it. And that's it. Now Content Patcher will be working just fine. You just need to paste it inside the mods folder and this map is gonna launch everything for you. Um, now it's the fun bit. So you just need to choose the mods you want to install now. So for example, just to show you real quick, I want to install Elle's new barn animals, which is a really cute mod that replaces your barn animals sprites like the pig and goat and cows and sheep for these really cute sprites, you can choose and configure um, whatever color you want. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in case you don't know. And um, it's really simple, you just need to go to the files tab, manual download again. It's gonna tell you you need content patterns, mappy, which we already have installed, which is fine. You click downloads, slow downloads. And now just like any other mod, you just need to extract here and move the folder to your mods folder. So you go back to Stadia Valley, open mods and paste it there. 
Now all of our bound animals are gonna look like that, really cute, without changing the vanilla files. So if you go back to your vanilla files content animals, you'll see that all your files remain the same. We didn't change them in any way. All we are doing is kind of like overlaying them with the mods without replacing them. So let's test it. Open in Stadio Valley, you notice that this comment window will open as well. So this is his mappy. You can just ignore that. Um, just leave it be. It's gonna open with Stadio Valley. Now the two applications are gonna be opening together. And now, as you can see, all of our born animals are really, really cute, and we didn't need to, you know, change the vanilla files. They are intact and. They're really cute. Look at that. Oh, they're angry because I didn't give them food, but you know what I mean. They are now replaced. It's working just fine. It's not breaking the game or anything like that. And the last thing you can do is some mods allow you to choose different um, configurations or different colors in the same mod. Um, so this is an extra layer of customization. Not every mod allow you to do this. Um, but I chose this one as for animals because it has so I'm just gonna show you real quick how to do that um, Just in case you want to personalize the mods that you download. It's really really simple um, Basically every time you launch the game after you installed the mods um, It's gonna create a, a file called config.json So for example on Al's newborn animals she left here this references folder which shows you all the options you have for the goats. You can change the config.json file to choose the exact type of goat that you want. So for example if I want a deer now instead of a goat, I can just see the, the exact name, so the, this id, the name of the sprite is deer blonde or deer brown. We can go back to the config JSON and open it with your notepad. See, here is asking you basically what you want it to be your brown cow, your white cow, your goat, your sheep, your pig, and your shop icons. So here on goat, we don't want the solid blonde anymore. As we've seen, we want the deer brown. So all we need to do is write here the exact ID, exactly how it's written on the image, it's now deer brown. So we're gonna just save this file and that's it. Once we open the game again, instead of the traditional goats, we're gonna have the deer brown. And this is basically how you customize every single bit of the mod if you want to um, add that extra layer of customization. I hope that makes sense, everyone. Um, if you have any questions, please send me. If anything here wasn't clear enough, I'm really sorry. Um, of course, English is not my native um, language. But I really hope it was clear enough and I really hope you will be able to install the mods from now on. If you don't, please feel free to send any of your questions in the comments down below. I will make my best to just reply everything as, as fast as I can. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please send below as well. And feel free to tell me what you think and tell me what's your favorite mods. I would love to know what are your favorite ones, guys, because you can waste so much time searching for mods, so, you know, believe me, I've been in a long journey finding the right mods for me, and, um, yeah, I'm just curious to know what you guys like the most, and I think that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!